This vaccine has been really a game changer. Dr. David Gifford is chief medical officer for the American Healthcare Association in Washington, D.C. The organization helps represent more than 14,000 nursing homes and long-term care facilities nationwide. And I imagine this past year has been a big challenge. I don't think we've seen anything like this, at least in my time as a physician in the last 30 years. But now with the COVID vaccine, cases among seniors and nursing homes have dropped 96 percent since the peak in December 2020. We're not seeing it come back up in the nursing homes because they've gotten such a high vaccination rate. He says between 80 and 85 percent of residents accept the vaccine. Staff are more hesitant, around 55 percent getting the shot. National research shows some are younger and unsure of the government's vaccine push. Others are low-paid workers who don't trust their employers. And some are people of color who have historic distrust in health and government systems and are more vaccine hesitant. But the gap is shrinking. Now that they've seen it's relatively safe, many more are starting to take it. Beyond the vaccine, Gifford's group is asking Congress to take action before another pandemic. If we want to prevent problems with the care for the elderly and long-term care, we have to make them a priority. He says nationally in the facilities they track, half a million staff and 600,000 residents got sick with COVID. More than 130,000 died. We're staggering, you know, all the people behind those numbers who lost their lives. You know, one is too many. 130,000 is just way too many. The American Healthcare Association is pushing lawmakers to consider policy to better prepare long-term care facilities for future outbreaks. Let's continue to place them at the absolute top priority. That means stronger oversight, stockpiles of protective gear, and transparency about vaccination rates and resident satisfaction about their care. But in the short term, for the rest of us, it's pushing for mass vaccination. We only beat the virus if we work together. If we don't work together and we have isolated pockets, then the virus wins. Galen Etlin, KGW News.